it's always difficult for a coach when a team comes together like this and you know, so many players playing together for the first time to find the rhythm and momentum. A bit of space for Stajowski. He took it first time and it was a good effort. That's a good effort. A cute angle lets it come across his body. Hits it first time on the volley. Now a chance for a Ghana counter-attack. And the back heel to Junior Agogo. Again, he couldn't quite get hold of it. And there's uh, an injury too to Drama. Another good ball by Kingston and Schwartz has come, a go -go, lost it past him, appeals towards the referee for a penalty, in fairness only half-heartedly. Well, we got there first, a go -go. Mark Schwartz are committed. Well, I'm sure uh, their interim coach, Selas Tete, will be very pleased with the way his team went about their business in the first period, particularly with those World Cup qualifiers to come against uh, Libya on June the 1st, and then they go to play at Lesotho. And then two games against Gabon, who've uh, just lost their French coach, coach Alain Jures. Now, a slip has led in Miller Stajowski for Australia! Stajowski scores! Right at the start of the second half, what a finish! And what a moment for Pimba Bake, right after the whistle from the referee to signal the start of the second period. And what a great finish from Miller Stajowski, wasn't in the game enough. In the first half, there's the mistake. He picks up the ball, he's got one thing on his mind. He's driving towards goal, and what about that for a finish? The mistake's from Mensa. Picks it up. Drills that into the far corner of the net. Armour move, no chance at all. You can see him there, his head down, eye on the ball, and he hits it with some venom and crashes into the back of the net. This is the only problem with friendly matches. You have so many substitutions, sometimes it does disrupt the flow of the game takes players time to uh, get on the pace now, Kingston he's been on from the start and looked very effective and very nearly oh, it's a, Mark Schwartz uh, it's a decent strike but he doesn't hit the target I think he had a better ball to the number 13 Asamoah on his right hand side Mexican wave going around the Sydney Football Stadium at the moment. Which is uh, probably a symbol that the fans aren't too happy. Now that's a clumsy challenge for Topper Stanley. I think he's a bit fortunate to get away with that. That must have been close. Well, he was to all the... over the Ghanaian attacker like a cheap suit. To the naked eye, I thought it was a pen. Stajowski? No, it's, it's Miller Stajowski. It was, and it's and a it's red. A second yellow. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't often see red cards in friendly matches. Miller Stajowski has been dismissed. Oh, I don't think he's going to be able to complain about it either. Sees the Ghanaian player breaking away, pulls him on the shirt, and obviously then he's realised. That's a good turn from Junior Agogo. Threads it through. Trailer stings the palms of Mark Schwarzer. Back into the middle, Topper Stanley is there. Australia at sixes and sevens, but they survive. I'll tell you what, we've had a bit of everything tonight, haven't we? Anthem's not played. Goal scorers being sent off. There's nothing on at full time, is there? Well, of course there is. There's uh, the after game show with Andy Harper. And you're buying me a beer. Deal. Meantime, drama. They tee it up and it's drilled in with real venom from the edge of the box. That's a great strike. Felas Tete can't believe. And I think it was number 21 Harrison who just got a toe. Drummer in low. Oh, wonderful effort. Oh, it's and it's touched behind by Schwartz. Agana can't believe it. Is it off the post as well or is it just a hand? Derek Asamoah with the cheekiest of back flicks.